When someone gets infected with a virus, like SARS-CoV-2, you mount an immune response. And what happens there is COVID-19 is circulating, you build antibodies, those antibodies attack the virus, and clear the virus from your system. That's the basics of immunology. If someone contracts COVID-19 but shows no symptoms, serology could be used within three to 10 days to determine whether they have been infected. Your body first has a rise in immunoglobulin M, or IgM. Following that, usually around seven to 14 days later, depending on the virus, you mount immunoglobulin G. The IgG response is the later response and the one that is long lasting. In a healthy individual, IgM levels will rise before IgG levels. You can see IgM levels right as someone's been infected. So someone who has active COVID-19, towards the middle to end of that, you'll start seeing IgM rise. IgM clears the body quicker than IgG. So we look at IgM to tell us that someone's recently been infected. And sometimes using IgM, you might be able to say that someone might still be infected. Then you have IgG. IgG starts spiking, especially as IgM starts coming down. IgG is what we look at to see if someone has long lasting immunity or mounted a long lasting immune response. So even if the person was asymptomatic and had COVID-19, if a random sampling of the population were done, that person might show that they have antibodies to COVID-19. That means they were infected with COVID-19 and they've mounted the appropriate immune response to combat the virus in their system. When we talk about immunity to a virus or a disease, we talk more about immunoglobulin G because that's the immunoglobulin that lasts longer. It tells us that someone's been infected and that they've recovered from it.